I want to welcome you back to Black Side. Tonight, we're going to talk about LA council members who happen to be Mexican face calls to resign over racist remarks. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. I'm going to read you this quick article from Axios, just came out about the controversy of these council members in Los Angeles. The three Latino Los Angeles City Council members and a influential labor leader are facing calls to resign following a leaked video recording of a conversation featuring racist remarks. Driving the news, the California and Los Angeles branches of NAACP demanded late Sunday that Council President Nuri Martinez and others resign after the LA Times reported she called a black child a monkey. The NAACP chapters also called on council members Gil Salido, Kevin DeLeon, Los Angeles County Federation of Labor President Ron Herrera to step down for participating in a discussion with anti-black and anti-indigenous comments. Martinez referred to her white council member's child who is black as a escunco or that little monkey during a Martin Luther King Jr. Day parade, according to the leaked audio of the nearly year-old conversation. She has no respect for Dr. King. Martinez also reportedly said that the counselor, Mike Bibignon, handled his son as though he were an accessory. She also referred to Bibignon as a little bitch. Herrera suggested that Bibignon puts his young son out in public like a lawn jockey, the racist stag used to invoke antebellum South. Martinez also heard fun of indigenous people from the Mexican state of Alchoa who have migrated to Los Angeles. She referred to them as short little dark people and called them ugly. What they are saying this kind of overt racism has no place in political discourse. Rick L. Zanino, president of the California High State Conference of the NAACP, said statement: "We clearly know we are. We clearly know we are your heart and mind, and both of them are corroded with rust of racism and hate." Los Angeles ex-con chief. Restaurant and Gold Award winning recipient Barika Loja joins the cause for resignations on social media. The words of Nuri Martinez's mouth cut in deep in the Oxcanada community of LA. I have dealt with my fair share of racism, but it's 10 times worse when it comes from brown women, girl. And you have to understand, these Mexicans. See, there's different hues. Some of them, like Nuri Martinez, who was the council president, she's more white. So if you're darker, they treat you just like they treat black people. I almost put this word. Zoom out. The secretly recorded conversation revolved around the con counselor's frustration that the growing Latino population wasn't resulting in more Latino council districts and concerns that black leaders were keeping some black majority ones. Martinez, De Leon, Herrera have issued statements of apology for their roles in the conversation. Saladino told the LA Times he had no memory of the discussion. Protesters demonstrated outside of Martinez's home and played portion of the audio recording on Sunday. The Los Angeles police were later seen in a video shared on social media attempting to move the crowd away from the house. This woman, Nuri Martinez, this gutter racist, she's more racist than any MAGA you can find. And these are the people you letting into America as illegal immigrants. They're going to join the rest of them. See, they're racist too. See, we think because people have hue and color on their skin that they think like us. They think that they're superior to us. And she let it all out. She don't care. This is how these Mexicans think. We actually think 
we got politicians like Sharpton and all these clowns telling us about coalitions. When the Mexicans do something for themselves, when La Raza does something for themselves, they don't involve us. Have you ever seen La Raza march with us? Have you ever seen them try and help us get reparations? No, I haven't seen that. But what I have seen is their racism. And they have racism just like here in Mexico, in South America, those who happen to be lighter, more white, who identify with being white. Because you remember, at one time, before they could get benefits from being a minority, they were considered white. And they didn't want to be considered nothing but white. And you see this woman, racism, and she lives in a majority minority city, which is in L.A. Can you imagine how legislation goes? And this woman is the council president. She has the ability to bring up legislation and the ability to shut it down. And this woman right here. Is in control of that? So wonder why the minority communities in Los Angeles are being deprived when you got these two racist Mexicans establishing the agenda. See, they Democrats. They didn't tell you that, did they? They didn't tell you that they was Democrats, did they? Your friends in the Democrat Party saying these things behind the scenes and discriminating against you talk about your children this is how she really feels it ain't no apology gonna change that this is who she really is and this is how her and her contemporaries feel about black people so what you gonna do about it yeah, you could call for her to resign. Where's the Democrat Party calling for her to resign? Where's Al? Where's uh, Joe Biden and the rest? Because this is truly inflammatory. This is what you would call racism at the highest levels, especially when they control funds that go to certain communities. There is no black and brown coalition. And I don't want to hear nothing from a black politician. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button. Also, share this video.